Hey guys, welcome back to Psychtopia. This is um episode actually I have no idea. I'm about to look at look it up. Um anyway, only thing I noticed is that uh there's been a little bit of glitching with the chests because I used world edit to pick up my whole city. Uh, my whole town and I plunked it right in the middle of the You Missed Clay map seed that Paul Sawyer's Jr. had going. I used the uh, 1.9 pre-release and we'll do something different when 1.9 is actually released but for now like all the treasure chests have been changed even though that actually here it looks like it's going through the wall so I would probably have to demo those all and replace them how I want. But other than that, the whole town is functional. Everything's still here. And I built this little... This is a melon farm. Those are watermelons. Um, actually, I think those are pumpkins. I think there's watermelons in here. Yep, there's one, two of them left. For some reason, the other two died. Not sure what happened. So, we have two watermelons, and we got several pumpkins. Six, I think. So today, I figured we would pick a direction, which will be north today, and we're going to head to the north with uh, very little. I don't even have armor on. Maybe we should go make armor. Be right back. Hey guys, this is the second night of my journey, um, and I found a dog, a wolf, out in the wild, so I'm going to try to tame it and bring it home with me. Okay. But I gotta keep it alive. And myself. Ah, okay. Oh yes, daytime is coming. Come here. Oh, he loves me. Yay. Why do I all of a sudden want to call him Jack? <laughs> um. Well, I'm gonna take him home with me. And home is this way. And I'm not gonna film most of that. It's a long walk. So I will talk to you guys later. I just wanted to show you that part. So now we got a puppy. Yay, what should I name my new puppy? Give me your ideas. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm back. Okay, now I just wanted to show you we have two dogs. Yay, we went from having no dogs and I didn't find a single dog. I didn't see one dog in 1.8. But now we have two. So I like 1.9 better. Um, anyway, now we need two names. So let me know. Hey guys, um, just a couple things. First, I seem to have found a random generated town. This will be my first one that might have NPCs in it. And I am being followed by one, two, one, two, should be three, yes, one, two, three puppies. Wolf pups, or dogs, or whatever you want to call them. And my kids are sleeping, so I'm going to whisper a little bit. But I wanted to show you this town. And by the way, I am completely lost. Um, I've been running for several nights in a row. Days, nights, days, nights. <laughs> and uh, here's one of those testificate. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we got some NPCs and I got puppies and we have a brand new town but uh, I can't find my way back home so it's going to be interesting to see how long it takes me to get home but I won't do it on camera I won't, I won't bully you guys with the details hello, testificate yay, there's other people in the world that aren't trying to eat me me and my puppies. Oh, and by the way, I found 39 pumpkins on my way here. <laughs> Just so you guys would know. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of testificates here. Cool. So, yeah, it's a whole thriving metropolis in the middle of nowhere. And, uh, yes, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to find my way back. I thought I had good bearings, and I failed. So, 
Anyway, we'll see. I'm sure I'll find it eventually. Anyway, take care. Um, just thought I'd update you. And we found Random Town number two. It looks very similar to Random Town number one. Very random. Ah, oh, well, hello. They look like evil monks. But an evil cultist organization that lives far from real civilization. That must be the head priest, because he's wearing purple. Yes. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Testificate. Um, what kind of organization are you guys? You don't eat dogs, do you? I hope not. Anyway, uh, me and the puppies are going to get out of here. They kind of creep me out. And uh, hopefully the real NPCs don't look like those. <laughs> Alright, take it easy, guys. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back again. Me and my little posse of puppies are traveling across the land trying to find our way back home. Um, and look, I saw a guy just walking around in the desert. An NPC, another Squidward looking like. Um, yeah, another NPC, I forget what they call him, Testificate. Yeah, another testificate guy. So that means there's another NPC town around. Oh, puppy got hit by a cactus. Come here. Come here. Which one of you guys got hit? Ah, there you are. Come here. Come here. Stop running around, you crazy dog. Hey, let me feed you. Thank you. Okay, anyway, we're ready to go now. Um, you can see in the distance there's a pillar. And on top of the pillar, I put a jack-o'-lantern. And there's a torch on the pillar pointing the way to the last NPC village that I found. So now we have two NPC villages, not counting the original random town. And this one's, again, full of NPCs. Uh, I can't wait for 1.9 to come out. It's just going to be cool if we can actually interact with these guys. Um, it's going to make... Minecraft, solo Minecraft, a lot more fun. Um, yeah, so I'm looking to see if there's any more pumpkins around. I think I might steal some of the wood. Huh, they got a nice road coming in. Gotta be careful leading my puppies around these uh, cactus. Okay, I don't see anything in this town that makes me want to stay here. No pumpkins, nothing. So, we will move on. And basically today is just a endless journey looking for... Oh wow, look at that mountain rise up. Um, we're looking for our original village, the one we transported us... You know, the one that magically transported us to this land using MC Edit, um, which I have lost. So the only way I can actually find it is to kill myself, um, or just to keep searching like this. So I'm going to keep searching for now. Maybe I'll go to the top of that mountain. Boom. Okay. And then I'll put a torch pointing that way, which is the way to that second NPC village which will lead us to the next beacon tower and so on and so forth. Okay, now I gotta go get my puppies. Ooh, a lava pool. Maybe we'll go over to the lava pool tonight. Okay, I'm back. I got my posse. Now let's roll. We're gonna go over to that lava pit. Um, I'm gonna stay a little bit away from it because I don't want any my puppies to fall in. As they are very curious and anything they see they like to run up and sniff. So now we're going to go see about this. Okay, so we have a crater full of lava. That's the second or third one I found. Stay away from it, puppy. What are you doing? Okay, so we're going to go this way. Now on top of that mountain is a beacon. So I'm going to stay away from that lava. Uh, we're gonna go. Uh, let's go this direction, which would be west. No, east. Let's go east. 
going to go east for one more day, and I'll bring you guys back if I see anything cool. But, <coughs> okay, set one more beacon up on top of there, which points to the last beacon. So if you see that, and you run past it, go that way just a little bit, you'll find, uh, see the beacon up on the hill. So hopefully in that way I'll be able to, hopefully, find my way back home. <laughs> we'll see. Otherwise I'll have to kill myself eventually. My puppy posse. And I thought I would just say this is going to be the end of this, um, end of this video. And let me know if you guys want me to keep showing you guys my search across the land for my home. Just a couple of, well, a couple few dogs and me. Just a few dogs and me looking across the land, watching the sunrise and the sunset, and exploring. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go build something on my other save, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.